Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back with another video. And today in the glorious free state of Missouri. A place where people do not care about your skin color or who you are. All we care about is whether you are under the Missouri flag. Okay? Nobody really gives a shit. If you're racist, we tend to look at you as if there's something really, really wrong with you. <clears throat> Today, BLM, or yesterday, BLM goes out there, you know, they decided, oh, we're going to do it like we do in every other city and every other state. We're going to go in a mob. We're going to go into the suburban areas like we've been doing. And people are going to cower like they've done before. Problem. This ain't Texas. This ain't Chicago. This isn't New York. This isn't LA. This isn't San Francisco. This isn't Portland, Oregon. This isn't Seattle. This is Missouri. Okay. What ends up happening? Two homeowners who have been putting their time and energy into a home built a life for themselves. And if you look at what all they had done to, to build up their home and everything, they've done a, a shit ton of work on this house that is in front of them here, or behind them that they're standing in front of. Decides to come outside and dispense Missouri justice if necessary. Fortunately, the protesters realized, oh crap, man, these people might. It, it's hilarious because in the video, if you watch the video... People are screaming, whose streets are streets, whose streets are streets, and the state motto of Missouri takes effect. <laughs> when, when you're bluffing, I'm going to make a meme out of that for all y'all, when you're, when you're bluffing in the state of Missouri and the state motto takes effect, <laughs> we are the show me state, like we're all skeptical of every single shit. When COVID hit, we're like, yeah, do the masks really work? Most, most. Our, our, most of our police departments, the highway patrol, they're all like, just use common sense, and we're not coming unless it's life-threatening. <laughs> they, they were pretty sure it was a problem, but they knew most of us weren't going to listen anyway. So, you know, just deal. But, uh, yeah, this is why you need a Second Amendment. This is why you need an AR-15, folks. Hey, I'm, I'm sitting in my work truck right now waiting on my boss. He's in Walmart at the moment, and I'm sitting over here with an AR-15 and a 100-round beta mag. Okay, and that is just in case someone tries to steal our tools in this whole crisis. Because let me explain something. Some people say, oh, you know, that's it's just things. It's just property. Um, you're rich and you've never had to live poor. And poor people will tell you that their entire livelihood is dependent on what on some of the possessions that they've got. In order for us to to work, if our tools are stolen, we have to replace those. We do, and most of your insurance companies, for those of you that, that come up with the inevitable, oh, but it's uh, insurance will pay for it. Insurance has a clause, and I've worked insurance jobs multiple times for hail damage, tornado, wind, rain, flood. I've had to fix all of it. And I've looked through hundreds, if not thousands, of insurance claims and insurance policies. 99% of your insurance policies have this little thing in there that says, we do not cover uh, destruction caused by mass unrest or mass civil unrest. It doesn't cause any damages caused by mass civil unrest or, or uh, protests or anything of that nature or riots. So you're, uh, any, anything that's destroyed in a riot, you are automatically up a creek without a paddle, more than likely. You have a 99% chance of not being able to pay for any of that. And that is a fact. Uh, don't get mad at me if your excuse for going out there and burning shit down makes you look like a monster. I'm sorry. There, There is no recourse. Hey, there's another guy with a protest buster on the front of his vehicle. Hmm. Those of you who want to know, those are big. That's what we're calling the brush guards now in this state is protest busters. <laughs> but anywho, anywho, you have these morons uh, who basically, look, you guys went into a, a town. You went to St. Louis. You had started that. You started Sunday beating the crap out of a bunch of Catholics. And you have finally overstayed your welcome in Missouri. Look, most of the time, when you come into this state, we'll be nice. If you have a flat tire or something's messed up on your car, we'll help expedite you getting back on the road. Not because we're really nice, but because we really just want you to get the fuck out of our state. Okay? For those also that are saying this is wrong and illegal, um, let me tell y'all something right now. Okay? If you... This is a, a private gated community... And uh, they had a fancy but polite no trespassing sign on the front of their, uh, outside the gate. 
simply putting up a no trespassing sign in the state of Missouri, if you and if you have a if you have a no trespassing sign at a barrier, in other words, uh, and a barrier would co constitute the property line of the property. If there's a no trespassing sign there and you violate that property line by going across it, it is basically the same thing as kicking the door into the house and attempting a home, home it's basically a home invasion is what's considered in the state of Missouri. So when you idiot BLM nut jobs decided, hey, you know what, we're going to kick this gate in and just walk right in here like it's nothing, you committed a home invasion, basically, by law. That's what the law will uh, look at it as. Once you have done that, these people have full right to come out on their property and brandish whatever the hell they want. Number one, um, we have constitutional carry in this state and conceal carry in this state, you can conceal a handgun or you can conceal anything pretty much if it's not NFA uh, on your person without a permit in this state. And anyone can do that. Okay. If you can legally own a gun, you can, if you can legally own a handgun in this state, you can legally conceal carry in this state. All right. You can conceal a lot of shit. Secondly, we have open carry also. You can brandish just about any firearm you want. And these people are on their property. The only the only real recourse you would have in going after these people, the only real civil defense, because we have castle law, um, we, we have stand your ground in this state. Also, we have property extension, which for those of you who don't know, your car, because you're paying property taxes on it every year, just like your home in the state, they extended your property rights to your vehicle. So if you walk up to a person's car and jerk the door open, like that guy down, what was it, in New Mexico who jumped out and shot, the police probably wouldn't even arrest you in the state of Missouri because you would you'd be well within your right. But the only recourse you've got is to turn around and walk away. Because in the state of Missouri, it's illegal to shoot a man in the back, and that's your only legal defense. Anyway, folks, I'm the Last Raider. Thank you for uh, listening to this video here. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification if you're new to the channel. And as always... Stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video.